All right. Well, we're uh, almost through with Monday. <laughs> and we got off to an okay start. But unfortunately, we're looking at the potential for Again? another weekend with rain. If we see rain this upcoming weekend, it'll be 16 of the last 21 weekends wow. for those of you keeping count at home. Yeah. So We all uh, are now. You, you don't need yeah. to tell you that. I mean, it's certainly a downer. Yeah. Um, at least it's not going to be raining the entirety of the weekend. Mm -hmm. And it is just Monday, so things could certainly change between now and then. Of course, that's why the First Alert Weather app uh, is a great resource to stay up to date on this evolving weather situation. In the meantime, we do have some spotty showers across Connecticut right now as we lose the daytime heating, make our way toward and past sunset. Those will be diminishing. Uh, brighter, milder weather's on track for Wednesday into Thursday before more clouds move in on Friday. We could end the week with some showers right now. Looks like Saturday could be the wettest of the next seven. In the meantime, we've got temperatures in the upper 50s and low 60s inland. Uh, same along the Connecticut shoreline right now with a northerly breeze at around 5 to 10 miles an hour. So our eye can view from Torrington showing more clouds than sunshine uh, and as we make our way into stores a similar scene here uh, from our view there at the Yukon campus and from along the shoreline looking live from Old Saybrook uh, we've got blue sky overhead so check a first alert uh, live radar it is to the east of Hartford moving through Marlboro right now down route two uh, into Hebron and now as, as way as well uh, away from Columbia uh, is where we're tracking some downpours there's also one uh, moving away from Windsor Locks into Windsor right now so that could make its way into the uh, the greater Hartford area, but you can see the very isolated nature, and this is certainly a better scene than what we saw in the last couple of hours. The coverage is starting to shrink as, again, we're making our way towards sunset. You can see uh, spotty showers really all across the northeast today, all thanks to uh, an area of low pressure aloft in tandem with the daytime heating, uh, getting the instability to build, and again, once we make our way over the next couple of hours, things will tend to quiet down. High pressure eventually from the west builds in our direction, and that will bring us some brighter and drier weather weather through the middle part of the week and eventually a bit of a warming trend. So for tonight, temperatures bottom out 40 to 45 inland, mid and upper 40s along the shoreline. A check of first alert future cast tomorrow. We start dry and then during the afternoon, can't rule out an isolated shower, but anything that develops tomorrow should be uh, not quite as numerous as what we experienced today. So again, more isolated uh, in nature. Highs tomorrow reach the low 60s in many locations. So as we look forward to Wednesday, morning clouds should give way to a clearing trend. Uh, Wednesday should be a dry day, one that features uh, increasing sunshine and temperatures that will be a little bit milder than tomorrow. Then we've got mid and upper 60s on, on tap for Thursday under a mostly sunny sky. 70, not out of the question. And then for Friday, uh, with the increasing cloud cover, maybe a degree or two cooler compared to Thursday. And we could end the week with a couple of showers. Again, over the upcoming weekend, periods of rain at least look possible for our, our Saturday. Some of our models showing the rain not quite as potent as other model rounds right now. So uh, we're still five days out. We'll keep you updated again as we get closer in time. But just the first alert to uh, the weekend that again will feature some rain, most likely Saturday, Sunday. It's going to become breezy, maybe some lingering showers, but otherwise we dry out and some cooler air will be arriving by Monday of next week. High temperatures only in the mid and upper 50s. All right, Mark.